Hey guys, today I want to show off the new Atomic Armory 1911 gas blowback pistol. This is a newly released product in Queensland and all other legal states of Australia, although there's not many of them left. <laughs> uh, this pistol is retails around 400 to 450 Australian dollars. It is the gel ball conversion of the airsoft versions. So the pistol itself is very faithful to the real 1911. So you've got your hammer, your manual safety, mag release, slide release, trigger, put the safety on, will not fire, and obviously your pressure safety on the grip. So when you purchase this pistol, it will come with one magazine and the gun itself. So easiest way to strip this thing down, cock it back. Just that, and you can see the pin here. So what you want to do, I found the easiest way, line it up with this notch here. Not, not, not the uh, one in front, just this one. So you find the pin with your finger on the other side. And there's a little bit of the uh, pin that sticks through into the magwell. Just push that through, it will come out, and slide it forward, and there you go. So there's your hammer block. So when you take the slide off, you want the hammer block uh, uncocked because it won't uh, slide over this uh, little gear here. Um, the frame is completely steel, very decent quality for a stock standard pistol. It's got a very sturdy feel to it and the spring itself is quite strong and the blowback action is incredible. So what I recommend doing is if these pistols come greased, um, as in like your um, industrial grease, clean it out. You don't want to start firing these guns with the grease because um, it can potentially have metal shavings in it and damage the gun. You want to be using uh, gun oil that you can get from gel blaster shops or gun shops. So you've got your piston here, you've got your guide rod, your barrel, and the spring. So I'll show you how to take it apart. So just remove the spring from the pin here on the um, barrel attachment. Remove it. Slide this piece out. That's where your spring goes into. Now, Getting the barrel out can be a little bit finicky. So there's a piece, just like the real 1911, you have to twist it and then pull the barrel out. Now, if it's not twisted properly, the barrel will not come out. Now that can be a little bit finicky trying to get this freaking barrel out. So you wanna make sure it's even. There you go. So it's a little bit finicky trying to get that out because of this piece here. So you can see it's not perfectly smooth. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just you can get it out easy enough once you know what you're doing. Uh, the barrel's quite thick and it's threaded right there. I really love the fact that this barrel is super thick simply because the amount of pressure that's going through these guns is quite substantial and you want a thick, thick sturdy barrel because otherwise you risk fracturing along the join lines and then your barrel is kaput and then you have to get a new one. So, grease. If there's grease on any of these parts, clean it down and use gun oil. Now, easiest way to put it back together, slide this piece back on the barrel, grab your slide, slide the barrel back through. Now, there's a little groove in there. You see it just there? It's kind of hard to see. So slide this through, and this piece will go in, and you want to get it right to the point of that groove. Then just push it in, now it's in, push your barrel right through, and you want that to be even. Because when you put your uh, spring well, I guess you could call it back in. There's a piece that slides into the end piece of the barrel. There you go, back in. Put your spring back in. Now careful when you compress your spring, you don't want to bend it too much. Then you go back in there. All done. It's quite simple. 
you get back onto the rail here, slide it right back. Now what you want to do here is just make sure that this hole is aligned um, through the um, barrel piece there. So the slide release pin will go right through. Now you want to slide it back. So slide the gun back. Make sure it's clear for the pin to go through. Lining it up with that slot there. This is where it pays to make sure it is even. Yep. Cool. Now all you do is push it back under that groove there. And the gun is back in working order, ready to go. The spring's quite strong on this thing, as is the blowback action. I'm trying to feel for the mag that's actually full. Yep, this one. So you can watch. It's a very strong action. You can feel it as you're firing. It's a satisfying feel to fire it. Kicks back hard. So for any 1911 enthusiast, I definitely recommend this product. Uh, as always with these gel blasters in Australia, please use gun safety. Uh, applied in this, the instances where you're playing with them. Don't put the barrel at your face, please. And if you are taking these two events outside, please make sure that they are covered and away in boxes or carry cases because we do not need the QPF getting on our case anymore. All right, thanks guys.